attention everyone we are ready to start senior showmen so if our senior showmen are lined up we're ready for them to come into the ring
Good morning. Good day to be in uh, Beaver Dam, I think. What a nice day. Boy, we've got a great set of girls out here. Apparently, they scared all the guys away, and I can see why, as tough as these girls show. Really a nice set. I could have any of these uh, people show for me. I know that. So it is kind of a uh, uh, person in their calf program, and I, uh, I'm going to start up here with this girl with this white cow. I think they both are really experienced, cow and the girl. She is the quickest to get them set up. She's very confident in her style. I really like that about her, and she is the fastest to get her heifer or cow set up, and uh, I think that's a plus here in the showmanship deal. They're, they're so tough that it's just small details, and that's, that's her major uh, plus over this. And her animals are agreeing with her the most, I think, today. This uh, young lady in second really does a good job. The heifer's given her just a touch of time around the ring, but she's really correct and got them hind legs set up the right way all the time. And I, I give that to her over the girl with the black heifer here. She's very confident, very nice, and the heifer's doing good. Just catching her off a little bit when she sets up, and so that's what got her in third place. The heifer at the end, the uh, girl's real fast, and I, and I, she did real good the first go and second go around when we had to pull her around. The heifer was giving her a tough time. It's really a close competition here. They could all win anywhere. I know they can. But uh, that will start down here with the girl with the white uh, cow to win the showmanship. Congratulations. Senior showmanship results, first place to Courtney Stelzer, second Hannah Olson, third place Caitlin Revere Demney, and fourth to Jaden Schneider. Just a reminder, uh, the Dodge County Fairground Board has asked us that if you do not have a young person in the show ring that you, um, you, you should only be watching from the stands if you do have uh, a family member showing. We do need to limit the number of people in the stands. In the ring next will be Junior Showmanship. I should in introduce our judge. I didn't get a bio on him, but our judge today is Frank Kaler from St. Charles, Minnesota. He is a three-breed cattleman. Shorthorn may very well be his first love, Semmental and uh, Angus cattle. He's had experience with other breeds back in the 80s. He helps young people across the state with 4-H uh, projects, FFA projects, sells uh, over 150 bulls per year all private treaty, always has cattle available. His family uh, is spread out, uh, Minnesota, Wisconsin, but he raised in Iowa. He raised uh, his daughters on the farm and all of them have stayed in agriculture for the most part. So a lifelong shorthorn uh, breeder, cattleman from uh, Minnesota. Please welcome Frank Kaler.
another outstanding class of showmen here. Really good job, all of you. Uh, the boy at the end of the uh, class down here is going to win this uh, division. Very attentive. I think he does an outstanding job, both watching me and the heifer. If she moves or gets out of line, he's right there and got her corrected right away. And I really like the, uh, I, I like that about him. But this girl in second is really smooth. She's uh, very uh, attentive and very uh, easygoing, doesn't uh, create a scene and, and does a nice job keeping that heifer under control. Um, I think she was a, really a top contender to win this deal. The heifer just started acting up a little bit, and it is the kid and the calf, so that's how it goes. The rest of these showmen are really good, too, but those two did an outstanding job. This girl in third, I really like the way she handles her heifer. She's really got a control on her, and I think that's, a, that's an outstanding trait to have in the show ring. Um, she would be a, she would be a big-time showman anywhere. The boy, it's next boy, has done a good job, got his calf looking good. He uh, stays, at, uh, stays alert. The calf catches him a little bit offside. He was uh, over here, and that kind of cost him a little bit. The uh, calf kind of went to sleep on him, and he was just letting him stand, and so that's, that's why you're in that, that position. The kids down the line, it's tough to show these other cattle. This girl's got a black steer, and it's right now her hind feet aren't right. She's watching me, which is what he's supposed to do, but I've caught her a couple of times that way. The young lady with the calf is really taking on a job. When you take a calf into a show ring, that's a that's a challenge and she's done very good doing that uh, this young girl here is really good the heifer's giving her a hard time today it's hard to keep up when the heifer doesn't want to cooperate and I understand that and the steer at least we know he can move good don't we so he's good and the girl took right a hold steer jumps around she takes a hold I like that and a good showman that can handle the uh, the bad part of things and get right back in it but really an outstanding set of showmen Placings in Junior Showman, first place to Tyler Giddings, congratulations. Second place, Taylor Fearing, third, Sydney Hebby, fourth, Tyler Cross, fifth, Kylie Stelzer, sixth, An Alyssa Denby, seventh, Kelsey Kuhn, eighth, Kaylee Chapman. Now we'll move into Intermediate Showman, our Intermediate Showman, our ages 14, 15, and 16 today. And this show is live streaming, just so everybody knows, uh, through the Dodge County Fairgrounds, they do have a live streaming service. That uh, streaming address or link was included in your exhibitor email. So uh, people at home uh, can watch the show today. Again, we're on Intermediate Showman, 14, 15, and 16 years old.
this is really a good class of showmen again. I really uh, appreciate how good you guys are all doing. This girl at the top of the class has got her heifer set up. She's got her under control and knows where she's at at all times. I really like that about her. Really a complete uh, job there. This uh, young girl with the uh, cow has got a real nice handle on that cow. I thought that uh, she uh, put her in place, knows how to display her to the best of her advantage, and I think that's a real plus for her. And uh, I think she just uh, had just a touch quicker handle on her than the girl in third, but I think that was really a close placing in this deal. This red heifer is a little tough on the girl today. Uh, doesn't want to pose quite right. Maybe a little tougher heifer to show. Just see that she's uh, doing as good a job as she can with her, but uh, just the heifer isn't quite as complimentary to her as the girl showing her, I don't think. And so this fourth, and of course a girl with a calf, the bull calf. Uh, as you bring a calf in, you've got your hands full, and he's proven that for her today. All really good showmen. I like the way they're doing her. Great set of showmen. Intermediate showman results, first place to Caitlin Olson, second place Abby Giddings, third Courtney Rathke, fourth Madeline Berg, and fifth Bailey Abney. Congratulations to those exhibitors. We're now moving into beginner showman. We have a nine-year-old, some 11-year-olds, and 13-year-olds in this class, so nine to 13 in our beginning showmanship. After showmanship, we'll move into steers.
I always consider this the most important class of the day. What a nice group of showmen here. I really, uh, really appreciate them. They're for young people. They're really doing a great job. This young man at the top of the class has got that heifer under control. He's got her set up right all the time. Moves on him. She takes and checks where she's at. He checks in and out on her to make sure that she's right. Really does an outstanding job. This little girl right here with this heifer here, she can show mine if she wants to. Uh, she likes that heifer, and the heifer responds to her extremely well. Uh, we would uh, tighten her stance up just a little bit if we get a chance, but there's a, a good showman and a nice pair there. This young man right here with this uh, spotted steer does a real good job. He's got him under control. He's got the calf uh, where he wants him and handles him extremely well. Does a real nice job. And the young man with the roan calf at the end, he's got a young, young calf, and and it's going to get to be a better showman all the time. If he's got calves that work like that for him, he'll be uh, in the contender circle before he knows it. So four really nice showmen here. Results in our junior showmen, our last uh, class of showmanship for the day. First place to Aspen Belke. Second place, Lauren Berg. Third, Lane Demro. Fourth to Connor Albrecht. We will be moving into our steer show uh, momentarily. We'll start with our first class of steers um, as soon as they get lined up. Thank you.
Really a nice young calf here. A calf that's really got some development to him. He's balanced from front to rear. Got a nice set of muscle on him. I think that calf's just gonna get better and better as he gets older. You take a view over his back and that's really a nice structured calf. Good on his feet and legs. Wonderful calf. First place in that class goes to Tyler Giddings. That is a bred known steer, so we will uh, probably see him again soon. Two entries in the next class. Peyton Mace with a steer weighing 1,150 pounds. Lane Demro with a steer weighing 1,225. Two entries in this class. This uh, red steer with the white uh, stockings on him here will win the class. The steer is a little farther along in his conditioning. He's really smooth. You handle him. He's got a nice finish to him. Boy, he's done a real good job feeding him and a nice calf. Really well balanced. Good heavy muscle on him and smooth in his makeup. Got some muscle in him and I really like that. Calf here that the young man's got. Good to see him back in the ring again. But a uh, calf that needs a little more feed, a little more time. Going to be a, a calf that's got some performance in him too. And I think a calf that he'll be very happy with, he gets a couple hundred pounds on him, he's going to be a real good steer. So a pair of nice short horn steers in this class. First place in that class was Lane Demro. Steer weighs 1,225 pounds. That's also a bred known steer, meaning the young person owned both the... Uh, or own the female that it's out of. And uh, second place was to Peyton Mace, steer weighing 1,150 pounds. In the ring now is a class of three, Kaylee Chapman. She's got a steer weighing 1,260 pounds. Kelsey Kuhn, 1,268 pound steer. 
and Caitlin Olson, 1,275 pound steer. So only 15 pounds separate these three steers. Some differences in this class is steer. It starts the class as a balanced steer. Uh, got more condition on him by evidence by his brisket. He's also a little heavier muscled calf. Got considerably higher percentage of his body in the rear half as compared to the steer in second. Um, I think a steer that would hang up a really desirable carcass. He's getting close to kill size, so uh, a calf that's ready to go. This is a long bodied steer. Uh, doesn't have quite the muscle expression as the calf that wins in the class and just got a little more in his front end as compared to the rear as, and uh, compared to the calf that wins the class. Then we've got a big growthy steer. It's got some time left on him. He's got a long bodied, really structured right steer, but he, he just needs some more time to uh, get him ready to uh, compete in this class. All right, congratulations to the exhibitors in this class. First place to Caitlin Olson. Second place, Kelsey Kuhn. Third place, Kaylee Chapman. Our last class of purebred steers will be in the ring next. Two in this class, Kaylee Stelzer, a declared weight on the steer, 1,300 pounds. Tyler Cross with a steer, declared weight, 1,325 pounds. After this class, we will select our champion purebred shorthorn steer.
toughest decision of the day here i think i'm going to use the steer that i think if you hang them up on the rail would have the highest percentage of red meat in him i uh i don't think he's quite as far along in his uh, development as this white steer but i think he's better balanced he's got a nicer style to him um I, just a little more muscle expression um i i know he's uh He's uh, not as long as that white steer, and I'm a performance-oriented breeder, and that extra length of body and extra uh, uh, length in that loin and stuff is really good on that white calf, but I just don't think he's got the extra muscle in him that this roan calf has, and uh, I know that he's carrying a little more condition. If we were going to sell him by the pound, we'd sure like that white steer, I know that, but this is a real good pair of calves, but I'm going to go with the calf I think will hang up the most desirable carcass today. Uh, not that it'd be the heaviest carcass, but a very close decision. Placings in that class, first place to Tyler Cross, second place to Kylie Stelzer. Coming in the ring now will be selection of our champion purebred shorthorn steer, first place in class 1A to Tyler Giddings. That steer is making its way in now, first place in class 1B went to Lane Demro. First place in class 1C, the third uh, class of steers today was Caitlin Olson. And first place in the class that just left the ring is Tyler Cross. Our seconds, uh, in contention for reserve champion would be from the class 1B, Peyton Mace, Kelsey Kuhn from the third class, and from the last class, Kel Kylie Stelzer. Those class, uh, class second places are on deck. So this completes our championship lineup.
Uh, this is uh, kind of an interesting deal for me. Uh, I'm going to make that calf the champion. I think he's the best animal out here. He's the most balanced, the most correct. He is the one that shows the most muscle expression. I think he's the best animal in the ring. Uh, I know it's tough to compete with fat steers with a calf, but he is an outstanding calf. He's really got things right, and I really think a lot of that calf. That's going to be a great steer uh, down the road. Then we've got an animal here. It's got some muscle, extra muscle, length, body. Got a nice condition to him. I'd sure like to tuck him up a little bit in those front shoulders, but there's a calf that would hang up a carcass that I think would be extremely desirable. He's uh, got some style, and he's got some producer look to him. I think that he really fills the bill here. And so that's a pair of nice steers. We've got a couple other steers competing there that I think are very competitive in the short horn breed. So a nice class of champions, but I'm going to go up and then the one that I think will hang up the uh, most desirable carcass and he's ready to go for a reserve. Let's give all the steer exhibitors applause. There ain't many people, but let's give them a little round anyway. Thank you. So we're, pardon us why we reshuffle the deck here a little bit. Our champion purebred steer was shown by Tyler Giddings. That is our Bread and Owen champion steer. Reserve champion was shown by Caitlin Olson. Came out of class three. Caitlin is not Bread and Owen, so we will select a reserve champion Bread and Owen steer. The remaining Bread and Owen steers would be shown by Lane Demerill. Lane, you can bring your, uh, your steer back into the ring. He was the class winner in our second class. And then uh, our other bred known steer would be shown by Kylie Stelzer, and she was second place in class four. Judge Frank Kaler will pick one of these steers to be our reserve champion bred and owned steer. Our champion steer was also our champion bred and owned, the calf shown by Tyler Giddings. Our reserve champion bred and owned steer came out of class two. Congratulations to Lane Demerill. Lane Demerill, reserve champion bred and owned steer. We'll have our Shorthorn Plus uh, show next for our steers. We have one class of Shorthorn Plus steers. Our first steer coming into the ring will be shown by Kylie Stelzer. Steer declared weight 1,100 pounds and Bryn Menke declared weight 1,398 pounds. So again, this is our Shorthorn Plus steer show. Only two.
two steers here. We've got one that's ready to go. He has got some condition on him. A nice handle on the steer. He looks like he's uh, pretty ready, but boy, you put your hands on him. There's some muscle in that calf. He's uh, got a nice style to him, balanced and good. Real nice steer. I, I like that steer. This next one needs some time yet. Looks like it might be a little harder feeding than the other one. So uh, anyway, we'll leave the champion on the black one and the uh, reserve on the one here with the white markings. Our champion Shorthorn Plus steer shown by Bryn Menke uh, and our reserve champion shown by Kylie Stelzer. Congratulations to those two. Once again, our judge today, Frank Kaler, Shorthorn, Angus, and Cimitel breeder from Minnesota. We are getting ready to go into our heifer classes. Our first heifer class of the day will be these heifer calves born in March of this year. So actually just nine days separating these two calves coming in the ring next. pair of real nice young heifer calves here close in her age. I really like this uh, red and white spotted heifer. She's got some extra extension to her, a little extra uh, body and growth, but really a nice balanced heifer. Really comes off those hind legs really nice. I think that she's going to have a real bright future, a heifer that uh, I like a lot from a standpoint of her performance and growth. Nice heifer put together good, real balanced. A heifer that's got some nice style and the, one of the things that I would comment about her is I really like the head on that heifer. I think that uh, the plus for her, I think that uh, she's going to be a nice gal for the young man. First place in that class and an automatic uh, early spring heifer calf champion goes to Bailey Abney. Heifer born on March 24th, second place and reserve early spring heifer calf goes to Connor Albrecht heifer born on March 15th. That was our division, so we'll move now into our January heifers. We've got a January 1st, 2020 calf, 
shown by Caitlin Berg making her, her way into the ring right now. This red heifer wins her class, a nice growthy January heifer. Uh, got a little extra body length. We'd sure like to just fix her up on them hind legs a little bit when she steps off them, but a real nice growthy heifer. First place in that class goes to Caitlin Berg, January 1st, 2020 heifer calf, and that is also the junior heifer calf champion. And just a reminder, we will need pictures of all our division and reserve division champions today. So uh, at your leisure or, or when you can, as soon as you can, get those pictures taken. Uh, if it works out after the division, that would be great. Make sure you get your parents and get your picture taken if you have a division or a reserve division champion. Coming in the ring next will be our senior heifer calves. We have two September calves in this class. Lurg uh, with a January, or I'm sorry, a September 1st, 2019 calf, and Hannah Olson with a September 12th, 2019 heifer calf.
the red and white spotted heifer winds this class a really thick deep uh, very uh, very mature kind of looking heifer and I think very correct in her kind and makeup pleasing in the eyes the uh, second place heifer is, is not quite as big as you can see but boy she is going to make a cow prospect I think this young lady will really like seeing how she develops as she comes down the road I think she's got a great potential a pair of really nice heifers good good heifers for the class Okay, again, we'll need our champion and reserve champion in each division to get their picture taken. First place in this class, and senior heifer calf goes to Lauren Berg. Congratulations. Reserve champion, senior heifer calf, sh shown by Hannah Olson. Yep. We have a single entry in our summer yearling class. We'll have a, an August 13th heifer shown by Courtney Rathke. Single entry in that class, then we'll move into some bigger classes. Single entry, this heifer is very correct, very good in her structure, good in her makeup, easy moving, a nice heifer that's correct and that's straight in her lines. Going to make a nice cow prospect for this young lady. I think she'll uh, enjoy her when she's in the cow herd. First place to Courtney Rathke with her August heifer that's a summer yearling. We'll move into spring yearlings now. So there's three classes in this division. We'll have three classes and then pick an intermediate champion. So we will see Courtney's heifer back again. Coming in now is our June heifers, ranging in age from June 12th to June 27th. Jordan Rakowski, Sydney Hebby, and Caitlin Berg will be in this class.
three uh, June heifers here. We'll start with the roan heifer in the far end. Heifer that uh, accelerates in her performance uh, quite a lot farther along in her development. And the next heifer in class, you can see how she uh, gets around and, and uh, got uh, maxed out for the show here as it looks. We like this second place heifer in her structure, really a smooth, easy moving heifer. They're good in her design, just not quite as much heifer as we have in the first place heifer, but an outstanding female. One here, it's a little different in her kind, a little smaller in her makeup. Uh, just uh, not quite enough effort to compete in this class. Uh, we truly like to fix her up from her hips back and get her changed there a little bit. Three nice heifers. First place in that class goes to Caitlin Berg. Congratulations. Second place, Sydney Hebby. And third place to Jordan Rakowski. And if I'm saying anybody's name wrong, just let me know. And I would like to correct that if I am mispronouncing any names. In the ring now is our last class in this intermediate division. Our spring yearlings ranging in age from May 2nd to May 14th. We'll have Abby Giddings, Madeline Berg, Kelsey Kuhn, and Savannah Siegler in this class. And then we'll pick our intermediate champion female.
interesting class here. Um, I've been in cattle business my whole life, and I tell them the most important thing is structure. So we're going to start with this roan heifer up here. I know she isn't the biggest heifer in the class, but I think she's the most structurally correct heifer in the class. She walks out. She's smooth and balanced. Uh, really got her good off her feet and legs. And uh, I realize she ain't the biggest one, but she's long, and she's going to make a good cow. This red heifer is I ideally the performance heifer in the class. I really don't like the way she comes off her feet and legs on either end, and that's I think that's uh, going to be a factor in her longevity and how long she'll be around. So uh, we're going to put her in second today because of that. She sure has got performance, got a nice style and eye appeal to her, but I'd sure like to fix her on both ends. This uh, red heifer coming, the next one, nice heifer, got some balance. I'd sure like to get her loosened up on her rear legs. Uh, from her hips back, she needs to be adjusted a little bit, brought up in her pins. I would fix her there if I could do her. The roan heifer here is a nice heifer. Going to be a good cow. She just needs a, she not, not far as long in her development as the other heifers in the class. And I would uh, tell you that down the road, she'll probably improve as we get uh, going on her, the rest of her life. A nice class of heifers, interesting to uh, evaluate them. In our early spring yearling class, first place to Savannah Siegler, second place Madeline Berg, third Abby Giddings, and fourth to Kelsey Kuhn. Now we'll select our intermediate champion female. First from class 104 with an August 13th heifer is Courtney Rathke. First place from class 105, our June class, June 12th heifer shown by Caitlin Berg. In class 106, our spring yearlings, all were May heifers. First place to Savannah Siegler will be in the ring. Buying for reserve, we'll have our seconds on deck. Second place in class 105, Sydney Hebby. Second place in class 106 was Madeline Berg. And of course, the young heifer class was, uh, was just a single entry in that class. So uh, our judge, Frank Kaler, has picked this champion to reserve champion. Intermediate champion went to Caitlin Berg. Reserve intermediate champion shown by Courtney Rathke. So Caitlin's uh, first place heifer came out of the spring class, our late spring class, class two of this division. And our reserve champion, Courtney Rathke, was an August heifer out of the first class of this division, a summer yearling. With that division, completed we'll move into our next class which is an early spring class these heifers 
range in age from March, looks like middle of March, to uh, middle of April. So March 19th to April 16th. Thank you to everyone for being uh, courteous, uh, spacing yourselves on the bleachers. We are limited to the number of people we can have in the building, but everyone's doing a really good job of, of coming in and leaving after watching a class or two when your, your young people or your mentees are in the ring. We appreciate that. We'll keep on going with that this afternoon. If we do end up with uh, a big number of people, uh, we may have to shuffle some people around so that uh, parents and grandparents can watch their young people show. But so far, so good. Thank you very much for being considerate and cooperative. We'll start this class with the Rowan Heifer in the far end there. A long-bodied, well-balanced heifer. Really good off her feet and legs, moves out. Heifer that uh, kind of puts herself together. I like the structure on this heifer as good as anything in the class, and that kind of leads her to the top. This other spot, red and white spotted heifer, follows her in kind the closest. I'd sure like to extend her a little bit, tuck her tail head back into her a bit. Uh, heifer that uh, otherwise gets along pretty good could be freed up on them hind legs a little bit she kind of walks outside her body a touch the white heifer I don't think has got a lot of extra growth in her but she is complete and deep got some balance to her today and I think she's a little farther along in her makeup than most of these and uh, I w if you're going to breed some moderate frame cattle she would sure be acceptable in that program the big tall roan heifer walking out is going to be a real big cow she's a year away from being complete I think and it's just the way it works, so we're showing them today and not a year from now, so that's how it works. The same thing goes for this heifer, the boy that's uh, completing the class. A heifer that's going to be a big, long-bodied cow but needs a while yet to develop.
first place in our spring yearling class went to Lane Demerill. Second place, Caitlin Olson. Third to Kaylee Chapman. Fourth, Kelsey Kuhn. And fifth place to Jordan Rakowski. Congratulations to those exhibitors. That's our first class of junior heifers. Our next class, a single entry, a January 13th heifer shown by Hannah Olson, making her way in the ring now. Then we'll select our junior champion female. We just have one heifer in our senior champion division, and then we'll move on to our champion purebred heifer. So we will uh, yeah. we'll have our, our January heifer in the ring now. We'll pick a junior champion and then move right on into our senior division. Nice heifer here, uh, January heifer. It looks like she's going to develop into a, quite a cow. I think she's got the kind that'll really uh, work for this young lady. Uh, I complimented on her and uh, keeping her in the right condition, and but yet she's ready to show. So a heifer that gets along real good. Nice class winner. First place in that class, Hannah Olson. Congratulations. Now we'll select our junior champion, so that uh, will be. Hannah Olson will be back in the ring with the heifer that just exited. Lane Demerill was the winner of the early spring yearling champion, or early spring yearling class with his March heifer. So Lane Demerill will be back in the ring and Hannah Olson in second place from class 107, the early spring yearling heifers in contention for reserve, Caitlin Olson.
our champion junior yearling heifer, our champ uh, junior champion, I should say, goes to Lane Demerill. Congratulations. Reserve champion is still in contention. We've got uh, Caitlin Olson coming in with her second place heifer in that class. So Caitlin Olson and Hannah Olson from our with her January heifer is reserve division champion. We just have one heifer in our senior division championship, or our senior division uh, division, I should say, and then we'll move into picking our overall grand champion, purebred heifer. Young lady's got a real nice uh, uh, December heifer here, so uh, she looks really good. I like her, and I think this is going to be a really good cow. I like uh, a lot of things about her. Smooth, her makeup, balanced, put together right. I like those females when you lay a yardstick at their back, it touches at every inch mark. I think that's a nice trait. Uh, she is going to be a good cow. Our senior yearling champion goes to Taylor Fearing. Congratulations, Taylor. We'll pick our champion purebred heifer now, so we will need Taylor to be back representing that division. I'll announce those heifers here. Let me do some paperwork, and we'll announce the heifers in the ring contention for champion purebred heifer. So coming in the ring now is Bailey Abney. Bailey had the early spring heifer calf champion with a March 24th purebred heifer. Our junior heifer calf champion will be Caitlin Berg. And that was a January 2020 heifer. Our senior heifer calf champion was also shown by Lauren Berg. Our summer yearling, or intermediate champion, I should say, was Savannah Siegler, reserve was Caitlin Berg. Our junior yearling champion, or junior champion, first place or champion was Lane Demro. And our senior champion, Taylor Fearing. Outside in contention for reserve on deck would be our reserve our reserve division champions. And a reserve early spring heifer 
division cha re division reserve champion shown by connor abrek congratulations we did have a reserve senior heifer calf shown by hannah olson our reserve intermediate champion again was shown by caitlin berg and our junior reserve champion was Hannah Olson. Well, it's really a, an honor to be able to call over here to Wisconsin to judge this Shorthorn Show. Uh, I, en I enjoy the uh, cattle, I enjoy the people, and it's really fun to come over here. And it's really good to see this nice set of cattle from top to bottom. A great show today. I'm glad everybody uh, came. Um, I see everybody wearing a mask. I had a guy ask me outside that if he could, he said he wanted a lone black heifer, and I said, what? And uh, I said, that didn't make much sense. Finally, he got done, and he took his mask off, and he said he wanted a heifer with a long back. So uh, make sure you know what they're saying when they're talking to you with that mask on. Um, but anyway, uh, we've got some nice heifers out here in this ring. I really compliment the exhibitors, the breeders. Uh, I think these are uh, outstanding females. 
Um, I talked about them in the, re in the class, but I'll just give you a quick analysis of what I think. This young lady with this spring calf up front, she's got a tremendous prospect. That calf's as good as you're going to make one. I think she's really put together right. A nice female, got a great future. That heifer's good from front to rear. I really like her. This uh, January heifer here, heifer that's got a lot of growth to her. We'd like to fix her up a little bit in a few places, but a uh, heifer that uh, the young girl uh, gets along with good, and that's a reason why we have a lot of these junior shows to let the kids get out, and she's got a heifer she can handle. I like that. The uh, senior heifer calf here is tremendous. Long body, deep in her makeup, going to make a great big cow, and I think that's the that's a good kind. I think she's got, uh, you make them that big and put them together that good, that's a rare combination. I think she's got that. The long-bodied heifer back here, the uh, June heifer, pretty in her makeup, long in her lines, really uh, got good style to her. I think that she's uh, uh, going to be another female that's really long. I like her extra body length. I think that's a plus. As is the heifer behind her, going to be a real good cow for that young man, and that's kind of why we got him here is to show people what we're doing. And he's got one, I think, that's going to be a, a female for him that'll keep him in the business for a long time. And that senior yearling heifer, put together right, smooth in her makeup, not over fat. Looks like she's going to be developed just the way that they should be at this stage in their life. Um, I think she's got all her production left in her, didn't take any away from being over fat. So um, with that in mind, I'll go out and pick a champion and reserve. And I think that uh, these uh, exhibitors and people here should all be very proud of what they brought today. Uh, you can give them a hand. There aren't many people here, but at least they'll know we appreciate what they brought them. So our grand champion, Purebred's Shorthorn Heifer, the junior show was exhibited by Lauren Berg. And our reserve division champion, and our reserve division champion was shown by Caitlin Berg. So congratulations to Lauren and Caitlin Berg, champion and reserve champion, purebred heifers of our junior show. We'll move into Shorthorn Pluses.
so I misspoke. We actually have three cow calf pairs, three purebred cow calf pairs. We'll work through those and then we'll move into our Shorthorn Plus show. So we're starting with a two year old first calf heifer shown by Tyler Giddings in the ring for right now. And our champion and reserve champion purebred heifers were both bred and known, so they're our bred and known champions again uh, as well. So congratulations to Lauren Berg, champion bred and known as well as champion overall and reserve champion going to Caitlin Berg. Congratulations. Watch that pair parade around the ring, folks. They win this division. They're the only ones in here, but that's what thing's all about. They are, uh, they are what they do for them cows, and look at what she's done. Tremendous pair for this young man. All right, our uh, two-year-old first calf heifer, shown by Tyler Giddings. And then we'll move into our uh, age class. Both of these will be 2017 born cows. So these cows are three years old, second calf. Courtney Stelzer and Jaden Schneider will be in the ring with their, their pairs. Some people say it's 50% on the calf, some say 40, but if we use any percentage, this white cow just kind of wins this class going away. A really nice pair of cows out here, and we just differentiate on the calves. It's pretty easy to place the white pair on top, the roan pair second, but a real nice pair of cows and calves that these uh, folks brought out to us today. You should be very happy with them. 
Okay, these were three-year-olds with their second calf. First place went to Courtney Stelzer. And second place, Jaden Schneider. So now we'll pick our champion cow-calf pair. We'll bring back our, our two-year-old class winner, Tyler Giddings. Cow born in April of 2018. First place in the class that just left, Courtney Stelzer, with her January 4th, 2017 cow. And on deck will be Jaden Schneider, second place, three-year-old. Folks, it's not too hard for uh, just a cowboy to place this pair. This is a pair of really good cow-calf pairs. But this two-year-old heifer at the end with that, that uh, calf, that steer calf nursing her, it's just pretty hard to deny her regardless of what you want to look for. She's got everything just kind of put together. This white cow is obviously doing a great job too, but the roan pair gets to be our champion, and the white pair reserve. Really good cattle. You guys got some nice ones here. Congratulations to those exhibitors. Tyler Giddings, champion with his two-year-old and reserve champion, Courtney Stelzer with her three-year-old cow-calf pair. Now we're ready to move on to our Shorthorn Plus show. So our first Shorthorn Plus class will also be our early spring division. So first in this class will be our early spring heifer calf champion and second place will be our reserve early spring heifer calf. In the ring we'll have Kelsey Kuhn with a April 2nd calf, Alyssa Denmi with a March 17th calf and Caitlin Revere Denmi with a March 16th Shorthorn Plus calf. Three calves in this ring. Again, this is our early spring heifer calf division.
three really nice heifer calves here. I think they've all got some real good potential. I really like them. I think the yellow heifer in the end is the one that's uh, got things put together probably as good as any of them. For sure, the most correct from uh, front to rear and, and the heifer that exhibits some uh, nice muscle expression, but easy the best off her feet and legs of the three. I really like that uh, long, clean front on her. I think a great prospect. The young heifer coming up next, a nice long bodied heifer, a little longer than the heifer in first. I would say just probably not quite as easy off her feet and legs as the uh, heifer in first. And uh, I'd, uh, this uh, heifer in third leading much better as we mentioned, but uh, we'd like to pull her up a little bit in her pins and sure fix them hind legs the way she places them underneath her as she walks. And uh, you can see when she gets out and moves, she needs just a little adjustment there. So. Nice class of heifers, really outstanding heifers, good good uh, prospects. First place in our spring heifer class and early spring heifer calf champion, Caitlin Revere Denby, and reserve champion, second place, Alyssa Denby, and third place to Kelsey Kuhn. Congratulations to those exhibitors. Another division coming up, our late spring yearling females. This will be our intermediate champion division, Jordan Rakowski and Jaden Schneider in this ring. Both uh, have May heifers. Jaden's heifer is was born May 4th and Jordan's was born May 18th. Young lady with this May heifer in first, a really nice female. It's too bad your state fair ain't running with one like this. She'd be uh, the kind that you'd really like to take out and have some major competition. She's long and straight, really a good female, easy and you know, just glides around the ring. I really like that black heifer. The blue roan heifer, nice heifer, not quite as much growth to her, probably not quite as free in her feet and legs, but this man's got something in my uh, endeavors those blue roan females are always in high demand so he's got something that's a valuable product that he's leading to first place in that class an automatic intermediate champion shown by Jaden Schneider and reserved intermediate champion second in that class shown by Jordan Rakowski congratulations Should be two heifers in the next class. This will be an early, early spring yearling heifer class. Caitlin Revere Denby coming in with an April 21st born heifer and Aspen Belke with a January born heifer. And that may be wrong, I'm sorry. There would be two different classes. So single entry in this class, March, April class. We've got an April born heifer. We'll see Aspen's heifer in the following class.
Nice prospect here. I think this young lady's got a real cow prospect on her hands. Very correct on her feet and legs. Really good on her stride. Hits her tracks good. Good feet on this heifer, especially a, one of the good hooved heifers that we've seen in the ring all day. So uh, I think she's got a real nice prospect. Got her in the right condition to make her a good cow. First place in that class, Caitlin Revere Denby. Caitlin, don't go too far with your heifer. We'll need her back for a division uh, champion here after the next class. So coming in the ring next, we'll have our junior yearling heifer calf class. Single entry in this class, Aspen Belke with a heifer born January 22nd. After this class, we will pick our junior champion, Shorthorn Plus female. Really nice, correct heifer, really well balanced. Man's got a good, jo good job of showing her, and she is well presented. I think this is a really nice prospect. I like a lot of things about this heifer. Congratulations, Aspen, on your class winner. Aspen Belke with his January 22nd heifer. So now we will pick our junior champion. You will, we'll have our senior division. Yep, there's just a one heifer in our senior division, Tyler Giddings. So we'll have Tyler senior champion or senior heifer in here, and then we'll pick our junior champion. Looks like he's put some work in on this heifer, a senior yearling heifer. Uh, got her ready to go. Uh, heifer that uh, is uh, ready to show us today. We'll bring her out here in the senior yearling, or the, the grand champion division. She can handle some competition. Congratulations, Tyler. Tyler Giddings, class winner in that class. And then we'll pick our junior heifer calf champion. So we would need the class winner from Caitlin Revere Denby and Aspen Belke, and they'll vie for junior champion Shorthorn Plus. And just a reminder, when we get all our division champions in here, we do need pictures of all our division and reserve division champions.
Uh, yeah, they got to stay in here for change. Yeah, we'll use the red heifer for division champion, the roan heifer for reserve. Really a nice pair of heifers. I complimented them both on their heifers. Really a nice, well-balanced heifer. Easy on their walk, the red heifer. Extra subs to the bone and a great cow potential here in the roan one. So, nice pair. So we're going to pick a champion Shorthorn Plus. So in the ring we should have our, our early spring heifer calf, Caitlin Revere Denby with that uh, March 16th calf, our first place, or our champion, uh, champion intermediate female was the black heifer shown by Jaden Schneider. And then Tyler Giddings would have that uh, champion junior, junior champion, your senior. I'm sorry, it would be Aspen Belke, who I forgot. Aspen Belke had our junior champion. I'm really happy with this set of heifers. I like these cattle that are out here a lot. They uh, represent what shorthorns can do to them other kind of cows. So uh, that's a plus. That's why we uh, sell a lot of shorthorn bulls to make females like these. So uh, this is what it's all about. We like that. And these are good females. But uh, we're going to have the champion, that black heifer out there is really powerful. Balanced, good, good on her feet and legs and moves out. I like her length of body. I like her muscle. I like her femininity and really a nice female. And this red heifer right in front of me be reserved. You two folks can be real proud of them, but you've got some nice heifers standing this side. We had some nice heifers are out here earlier in the class, but a pair of outstanding females represent the Shorthorn Plus here. Our champion Shorthorn Plus female shown by uh, Jaden Schneider, congratulations. Aspen Belke was our reserve shorthorn plus heifer. Division winners and reserve division winners, if you could stick around to get your pictures taken, we'd appreciate that. We do need pictures of those division champions. Looks like we'll have one shorthorn plus cow-calf pair. We've got a first calf heifer, a two-year-old cow-calf pair coming in the ring now exhibited by Kelsey Kuhn.
This young lady's got a real nice pair. Two-year-old cow here with a nice calf. Uh, calved right at two years. Uh, I think she's got an outstanding pair. I really like this pair of cattle, and uh, I think she should be very proud of them. A nice class winner. Congratulations, our first place and grand champion, Shorthorn Plus Cow-Calf Pair. Shown by... Shown by Kelsey Kuhn. Congratulations, Kelsey. Moving into our junior bull show, we have a May 2019 bull in the ring shown by Kaylee, uh, Kylie Stelzer. Real nice May yearling bull here. I really like length of body, some muscle, and the right kind of bone walks off his feet and legs good. I think he's a nice prospect to be a good herd bull for anybody in Wisconsin, I'm sure. to Kylie Stelzer. Kylie Stelzer had our champion in intermediate bull now coming in the ring as a single entry, a February 7th, 2019 bull shown by Kaylee Chapman. This will be your automatic junior champion bull. wins the class a February bull looks like he's in the right condition to go out and get working so that's a good sign the girls got him ready to go
Kaylee Chapman, congratulations on your junior champion bowl. Now we'll pick our grand champion bowl of our junior show. Kylie Stelzer will come back into the ring with her May 22nd, 2019 bowl. And Kaylee Chapman stays in the ring. She had her junior champion, February 7th, 2019 bowl. Nice pair of bulls here. We'll use the red bull for champion, the roan bull for reserve. The red bull just a little stronger and straighter in his top, just a little better off his feet and legs. So we'll make the red bull champion, the roan bull reserve. Congratulations, your exhibitors. Congratulations, Kylie Stelzer, head champion bull, reserve grand champion bull shown by Kaylee Chapman. Congratulations. That concludes our junior show today. We'll move into our open show. It looks like we'll start with Shorthorn Plus Bulls on the open show today. We're also going to switch judges. We thank you, uh, Frank Kaler, very much for making the drive from St. Charles, Minnesota to judge our show today. Our open show judge is Eric Mindeman.
so we're starting the open show with our Shorthorn Plus bull show. This is a winter bull calf shown by Abney Family Cattle, born December 10th of 2019. This is the single and only Shorthorn Plus bull um, entered in, in the show today. We'll move on to our purebred bulls after this class. Well, first of all, I'd like to thank the Wisconsin Shorthorn Association for having me here to evaluate these cattle. Uh, I know it's uh, quite a, quite a, been quite a summer, so I'm excited to get out, get judging, uh, looking at these cattle. Uh, really super high quality calf that starts off this class, and I think it's the only Shorthorn Plus bull here. Um, can offer a lot, a lot of competition. He's really smooth when you look at him from the side profile. He gets out and tracks really well. Uh, he's super, super stout. You just gotta love that pop that he's got in his uh, in his hooks. Uh, but and just tremendous clean. I think this calf's just gonna go out and do great things. I just I'd I'd be pretty excited to have this this sucker in my show string. So congratulations on you. Congratulations to Abney Family Cattle, our Winter Bowl Calf Champion and Champion Shorthorn Plus Show, our Bowl of this year's show. We'll move into our Shorthorn uh, Bowl Show. We have uh, a single entry in our late spring bull calf class. Should be one entry, Badwater Cattle Company and Steltzer Show Cattle. This bull would be born May 22nd, 2019. Up in the ring now will be Badwater Cattle uh, Company and Steltzer Show Cattle with a Mayborn Bull kicking off our open show today, our open purebred show. Our judge today is Eric Mindeman. He runs Sunset View Cattle Company with his family near Johnson Creek, Wisconsin. Uh, Semental uh, Sim Solution Cattle or, or Semental. Uh, percentage Semital cattle are kind of their specialty. Also show some club calves um, and involved in some maintainers at, at some points in time and some club calves as well. So we are happy to have Eric Miniman judge our open show today. For those of you that are watching our live stream, Eric again comes from Jefferson, uh, Jefferson County, the Johnson Creek area. He and his family have been showing cattle for a very long time and uh, his family uh, have mostly Semental, Semental cross cattle and some club calves and maintainers. So we're happy to have Eric with us today. Super nice red bull, kick, bull start off the uh, purebred show. One that really gets really well when you watch him walk on his joints. It's got plenty of flex in that hock. I think one that you'd, you'd like the condition about him at this point in his life, a uh, very good testicular development. One that's clean up through his front one third and uh, completely level topped. I'd like to get see him just a little bit more fuller when you get down to the stifle, but an awfully, awfully good bull. Congratulations to Badwater Cattle Company and Steltzer Show Cattle. 
for exhibiting your class winner and champion intermediate bowl. Now we'll move on to our early spring bowl division. Two classes in this division. Single entry in our early spring yearling bowl class. Winter family cattle with a May 8, 2019 born bull. Another really nice single entry here for uh, April yearling bull. Uh, one that really kind of gets out, it's a meaty package. Uh, one that you look at and is full through his chest floor. Uh, right from that floor would be kind of fills in ever. So pretty good. Uh, one that maybe you want to restrict him a little or get him moving a little bit better off his rear hocks. He kind of wants to roll up on that rump a little bit, but nice bull. First place to winter family cattle with their April born bull. Now coming into the ring should be a class of two C4 show cattle with a March, I'm sorry, February 7th bull and Cloverleaf Farms with a January 6th born bull. Another nice class of bulls here. I'm going to start off with the solid red bull to be your class winner. I think he just excels in a total package, uh, more so with his muscling build. He's really thick right through that chest floor. One thing about this bull is when he gets out and moves, he can actually really strut. That's where I kind of have the differences in the second place bull 
He really, when you get out and move, he really wants to set his feet. His rear two underneath him a bit too much for me. Uh, doesn't offer as much muscling capacity, but a, a nice, nice bull to round out the class. First place in our junior yearling bull class goes to Cloverleaf Farms. And second place, the C4 Show Cattle. Now we'll pick our junior champion bull. We'll bring in the Wincher Family Cattle entry from class 203 and also our Cloverleaf Farm first place winner. C4 Show Cattle will be on deck buying for reserve. Second place in that class just leaving the ring. Well, out here for uh, Junior Champion Bull, I think there's two bulls out here. They offer a lot of good. They offer a lot of differences. Uh, the, the bull in the in the with the young lady right here with uh, the the white, white bellied bull. He kind of he's got super good muscle through through his fore rib there. He really uh, one one thing about him is he you'd like to see him set that loin down a little bit. Uh, when he's out traveling, uh, he's good on his feet and legs. Maybe a little bit of hot, too much hawk set on the back end, but an awful lot of bull, lot, awful lot of good to that bull. The bull, the red bull from the last class here, I think he's tremendous in his lines. He's really uh, set forth on his top line. He he rounds good from his hooks to his pins. He's got plenty of chest there, uh, and when he gets out and moves, he actually he wants to strut around like a like a champ, and that's come, something that you're, you want to look for when you're getting your breeding bulls. I'm going to use the red bull for your champion and the white belly bull for your reserve.
Congratulations, Cloverleaf Farms. They exhibited the junior champion bull, reserve champion to C4 show cattle. We will need uh, pictures of our division and reserve division champions. We do have a two-year-old bull class coming in. Two entries, KSS Keystone Shorthorns with a June 26, 2018 bull and Bright Light Show Cattle with a February 13th, 2018 born bull. This will be our senior division champion. We'll pick our senior division champion in this class and then move on to selecting our grand champion Shorthorn Bull. Well, I commend these exhibitors for bringing out these two-year-old bulls. I know it can be kind of a challenge when you get, get bulls this big. Challenge to keep them fresh, keep them moving, keep them uh, all up to par. Uh, young lady's bull comes out. What a stout, massive bull this guy is. Two-year-old, he struts around the ring athletically like he's, he's a yearling. Uh, one, bull, one of the things that really kind of thought when uh, they, these two bulls came out was the second place bull I thought well that's a pretty stylish bull gotta admire the hip set in him he get, really gives you a pretty look but when that young lady got that big bull parked and set up he really gives you a cool look he's uh, very soft in his pasturns just kinda kinda gets out and, and uh, struts along real nice the bull in second place super cool profile bull Got to love that hawk set into him. He's, he's super good in, up down in his pastures. Just doesn't have the body mass that the bull ahead of him has. Uh, he li had really liked that hip shape to him. If he put on a couple hundred more pounds, 200 pounds right now, I think he'd give that big bull a run for his money. But 
Today, as I see it, power is in the bull that leads this class. First place in that class in our senior champion bowl shown by Bright Light Show Cattle. Congratulations and congratulations to our reserve senior champion bull, KSS Keystone Shorthorns. Now we'll pick our grand champion bull. We'll have our Badwater Cattle Company Steltzer Show Cattle Bull coming back into the ring. That was our uh, late spring bull calf. He was born May 22nd of 2019. Early spring yearling bull calf shown by Wincher Family Cattle, our junior champion shown by Cloverleaf Farms, and first place shown by Bright Light Show Cattle in our senior champion, our senior champion rather. So we'll bring those bulls back in. Also on deck, vying for reserve champion would be our second place junior yearling bull, or reserve champion junior, junior yearling, I should say, uh, shown by C4 Cattle and our reserve senior champion bull shown by KSS Keystone Shorthorn. Well, when we get out here for our Grand Champion Bowl, uh, it, it's nice to nice to have a, a group of cattle out here to compare to. I know we had a bunch of single entries, and that's almost as challenging to, to judge that as it is a group of 30 heads. So uh, I commend these exhibitors, all three nice bulls. I'll just kind of go through. The, the bull in the first division there, uh, really stylish bull, really heavy muscled when he comes out of his hip, one that you like when he gets on his move. Uh, he's fairly clean upon his front one third. Uh, if anything, you'd like to give him up or clean up that front third a little bit, but that's getting picky. Uh, does he have enough rib shape? 
maybe, maybe not, but he is a young bull. Uh, give him time and that might come. The bull out of the second division, he's kind of a meat and potatoes type bull. Very functional, really, really good up through his top line. Maybe when you get behind him, he gets a little flatter muscled, a little plainer in his makeup than the bull ahead of him. Uh, and then to round out with the senior division bull, uh, big massive bull, two year old bull, still can get out move, really level in his lines, clean up through that front, uh, tracks excellent for being that weight. Um, I imagine he's been used a, a little bit for breeding, but uh, very attractive bull. You get him parked, he uh, gives you that good look to him, one that you'd be happy with uh, having a clean up bull out in your, in your pasture and being able to look at that guy every day. Uh, it's tough, there's a lot of differences. I really super like show cattle. This calf up here really gives you that good look. I like production cattle, that bull out there gives you that, uh, all that and more. Um, I'll go out and select the, the bull I like the best. Our grand champion, Pure Red Shorthorn Bull, was first our senior champion. Congratulations to Bright Light Show Cattle. We'll bring in the entry from KSS Keystone, the reserve senior champion bull. Well, another high quality individual that comes in here for your reserve division, one that's really stout, really, really well made. You kind of get a super good look from the side from him. Love that angle of his hip. Love that extension through his front. He's, he, uh, he's kind of one that you get him parked. He really gives you that super good look. Uh, he can give you an okay look uh, in different positions, but one that offers a lot of good. A reserve grand champion bull was exhibited by Badwater Cattle Company and Stelzer Show Cattle. Congratulations. We should have two two-year-old cow-calf pairs coming into the ring for our open show. Murfeld Livestock with a cow born in May of 2018. Cattail Ridge Farms with a cow born in April of 2018. These are Shorthorn Plus cow-calf pairs, I should mention. We are moving into our Shorthorn Plus show first. Opposite order of, of this morning, so we're doing our Shorthorn Plus show. Cow-calf pairs first, thank you.
Well, as we start off our cow-calf pair, I think we got an excellent, excellent uh, pair to start off this class with, this black heifer. Uh, being a two-year-old first calf heifer, she offers a lot of good. You uh, really like that udder development. You like uh, length of body. You like how she kept her condition together quite well, and I think that's where she excels over the second-place cow. Uh, calf that's on its side here, tremendous, tremendous stout heifer calf that's got a, a lot of a lot of good in her uh, really super doing a super good job on this cow the cow that comes in second like I said with the first place one she just kind of gets outpowered by the condition uh, maybe she's had a harder time than the first one on sucking her first calf but uh, good good cow love that extension through her front one-third and you especially like one where this excels over here. She might be sucked down a little bit too much right now today, but her, her teats are in the perfect spot. She looks like she's going to have a good udder, but maybe that calf got on her a little too, too early before the show. But, and then the calf that comes out of that class offers a lot of good. Really young, needs a little growth to him, but I think he's, he, she's got all the right pieces to make a decent calf. So. Thank you, Eric. Our champion shorthorn plus cow-calf pair exhibited by Cattail Ridge Farms. Reserve champion cow-calf pair in the shorthorn plus show goes to Murfelt Livestock. Now we'll move into our early spring heifer-calf class. So this uh, one class in this division. Youngest to oldest, we'll have Cattail Ridge Farms with a May 2nd calf in this class. Rock Valley Ranch, March 16th calf, and Rock Valley Ranch will also have a March 17th heifer calf in this spring. And again, these are our Shorthorn Plus early spring heifers.
nice set of heifer calves to start this show off. Kind of a, a lot of differences depending on what you want to do with this class. Uh, each heifer is kind of different in their own. Uh, I'm going to start off with the the, more, the powerhouse horse out of this class. Uh, one that really gets up. She's got a lot of growth to her. You really like how that that front neck sits right in and how she comes into her her uh, neckline through that shoulder. That transition's pretty good. She holds her top together really well in a nice square package and gets out and moves fairly decently. The heifer coming in second. Uh, you gotta really admire this one for uh, that depth of body. You gotta admire for that pin set on her is tremendous. She gets out, she kinda wanna bows her back legs a little bit when she gets out and moves, but uh, one that's been fighting the halter a little bit, so that could be something with that, but uh, really nice heifer there. Heifer that we round out the class with. When she walked in the ring, I thought, well, that's going to be your class winner. That's kind of my kind of heifer. When you really analyze her to compared to the heifers above her, she just doesn't have the, the, the body mass, the uh, muscle extension. She wants to get a little chestier up in the front floor, but really an elegant, nice, deep-bodied uh, type heifer. Just not, not enough groceries to get her to the top on this class. First place in that class, an early spring heifer calf champion shown by Rock Valley Ranch. Second place in reserve champion early spring heifer calf shown by Cattail Ridge Farms. And third place to Rock Valley Ranch. Congratulations. In the ring next will be our late spring yearling males. Two May born heifers in the ring, Cozy A Farms and Diamond Creek Farms. And again, this is our intermediate division as well. Well, super cool, highly presented female to start this class off. One that you got to really admire her, her massive shape, her massive rib shape. Good through that four rib, square, square through the top. Uh, one that you'd like to see her get out and track a little bit more, a little quicker. She might be a little lazy today, but uh, one that offers a whole lot of good. Uh, if you could uh, maybe extend that front a little bit. Uh, that she would be awfully, awfully, awfully good. Uh, heifer that comes out in second, I think she just gets out horsed. 
Uh, she's not uh, square up through her through her hooks to her pins. She she offers a lot of flex on her joints. Uh, maybe a lot cleaner fronted heifer, a lot more extended heifer than the one that leads this class, but just kind of got out horse today. Our intermediate champion female was exhibited by Diamond Creek Farms and Reserve Intermediate Cozy A Farms. Now we'll move into our first class of junior yearling heifers, our early spring heifer class. Rock River Ranch with an April 21st, 2019 born heifer, Tearful Acres with a March 15th, 2019 heifer. There will be three classes in this division. Well, the heifer we start this class off with, I think uh, if you analyze the two of them, she's definitely not the most powerful one. You get on her top, she's not as thick through the top. Where this heifer excels is I think in, in as far as your whole body movement. Uh, she gets out and moves. She really pulls herself together in a square, correct fashion. Uh, really glides around that ring. Elegant, uh, just a really super nice looking female. The heifer that we round out the class with, super nice production heifer. She's going to be your cow maker here. She's going to be the one that goes out and uh, raises them big fat steers. Uh, one that just kind of rounds off when you get to her hooks, uh, just offers a little bit, maybe maybe a little chubby, but offers just a little, little rounder package than the heifer that leads this class off. First place in that class went to Rock Valley Ranch, second place to Cheerful Acres. Coming in the ring now will be a single entry from Atlas Cattle. This will be our junior yearling class. This heifer born January 22nd of 2019.
nice single entry right here with this red heifer, one that offers a heck of a lot of good. You got to really admire that shoulder, how it transitions up into the neck there. Uh, one that gets out, pulls herself together, real level top. One that maybe you get behind her, you want to add a little bit more base with, maybe a little wider pin set. Really super deep body, really tracks well, nice heifer. First place in that class, shown by Atlas Cattle. Congratulations. Moving into the last class in this division, another single entry shown by Tag Livestock, the September 5th, 2018 heifer. Then we'll pick our division champion of these three classes and move on to our grand champion, Shorthorn Plus Heifer, after that. Really a massive single entry right here. You gotta appreciate that depth of rib. You gotta appreciate that spring of rib. Just the power of this heifer. Uh, one that tracks well for the uh, amount of condition she's carrying. Uh, one, if you could change that, you'd like to set that tail head down a little bit more. Maybe extend that neck a little bit, but nice, broody, powerful cow prospect there. Single entry in that class, first place to tag livestock. Congratulations. Now we'll pick our division champion. So we'll have Rock Valley Ranch in again with their May 21st born heifer. Our junior yearling champ or junior yearling winner, Atlas Cattle Company, will be back in the ring. So Aspen will be back in the ring with his heifer. And Tyler Tag Livestock will be back in with his September 2018 heifer. Again, this is for our division champion, and then we'll select our champion, Shorthorn Plus Heifer, right after that. Okay, so we reshuffled a little bit. We'll pick our junior champion now. So that'll be class, our early spring heifer class winner from Rock Valley Ranch and our first place winner from our junior yearling class by Atlas Cat. So Tyler Giddings with, his, with Tag Livestock, that was automatically your senior yearling champion or your senior champion. So she just left the ring as your senior champion. We're going back now and picking a junior champion between these two heifers. On deck would be our second place uh, 
early spring heifer shown by Cheerful Acres. I think when you get out here for your junior yearling heifer, I think we got a pair of heifers that really complement them, complement each other. I think they're equally right in their same kind. They're very long-bodied, very elegant makeup, very deep-sided. Uh, you get behind both these heifers. Maybe they don't impress you as much as some other cattle that you've seen throughout the day, but offer an awfully lot of good things moving forward. Uh, I'm going to use the red heifer as your champion. The Rowan Heifer is your reserve. Congratulations. So congratulations to Atlas Cattle, our champion junior heifer, junior champion today, reserve junior champion uh, shown by Rock Valley Ranch. Congratulations. Now we'll move into selection of our grand champion, Shorthorn Plus female. Our early spring heifer calf champion was shown by Rock Valley Ranch. Our intermediate champion heifer was shown by Diamond Creek Farms. Our junior champion, that was the division that just left, our junior champion heifer was shown by Atlas Cattle and our senior champion shown by Tag Livestock. We would have our division, reserve division champions also on deck. Outside the barn, Cattail Ridge Farms had our reserve early spring heifer calf. Cozy A Farms had our intermediate champion heifer. Our junior yearling reserve champion or junior reserve champion, Cheerful Acres. And we just had the one in the senior. Our senior champion, Tyler Giddings, is in the ring now.
I think when you look in here for your champion Shorthorn Plus heifer, uh, there's a lot of differences in this group of heifers that I have here. Uh, depending on what kind of cattle you like, we got it right in front of you. Um, you know, from the calf that offers an excellent, excellent amount of good, that neck set on that calf is as good as any. You gotta love the levelness on her top. One that's a, maybe a tick coarser made than you'd like to see, but a nice calf. The young lady's black heifer that comes in, super stylish. Really, really, you get on top of this heifer and she's super wide, pin sets fantastic. She gets out there, maybe you wanna extend that, that head and neck a little bit slightly, a little more elegant, maybe slim it down just a little bit. One that I really have been waiting to see her get out and strut. I think that she moves good enough. I think if you, you got her picking up the pace a little bit, she'd pull herself a lot together quite nice, but very attractive female. Cool to look at, easy to look at, but uh, one you just admire uh, the base width on that heifer. Red heifer that comes in, a little higher frame, heifer, one that want, sits that tail head high, but she transitions it well all throughout the top of her loin ever there. Uh, one that you'd like to see maybe a little, that neck kind of transition up to, to the pole, a little smoother, a little cut in there at that, but uh, one that's super deep sided, super pretty to look at. She, he gets this heifer parked, she's just, you, you could look at this heifer all day long. And then finally, uh, the heifer that comes out of our last class, uh, just a super broody, really powerful, big footed, good flexing kind of female. One you'd want to set that tail head back like we've talked about in the class, but a nice, nice heifer to round this out. Give these guys a round of applause. Uh, I'll go out and pick your champion. Grand Champion Shorthorn Plus Heifer of the Open Show shown by Atlas Cattle. Congratulations, Aspen. And Reserve Champion was shown by Diamond Creek Farms. Congratulations. Now we'll move into our purebred show. Uh, we'll start with our cow-calf pairs, our two-year-old cow-calf pair, just one entry, shown by Tag Livestock.
Well, as we start off our pre-bred shorthorn show, we got an excellent pair here. This two-year-old cow, really, you got to admire the length of body, depth of ribs. She kind of she holds her top line together good, real good udder set. Uh, just doing a super good job on on this bull or this steer calf she's got here. Uh, calf that's I was I thought God did I see that guy in the bull show? But no, he's he's apparently not eligible. But Anyway, nice stout calf, uh, really line, really good lines, super good uh, prospect steer calf there for the young man. Congratulations, Tag Livestock, our first place two-year-old cow. We have a pair of three-year-olds, or two, a pair of pairs coming in for our three-year-olds. Courtney Stelzer and Diamond Creek Farms with three-year-old cow-calf pairs. Then, af then after that, we'll select our champion purebred shorthorn cow-calf pair. Well, as we come into our second class of cow-calf pairs, uh, this three and a half, four-year-old cow out here that I use for for uh, your class winner, <laughs> super, super good pair. I mean, that cow, she gets out, moves. Uh, she's really elegant in her makeup. You love to look at her on the standstill, and she com combines that with a, a super neat-looking bull calf, really high-growthy bull calf, one that you has a lot of style. A lot of rib shape. He holds that muscle together when you get into that lower quarter. Really nice calf. Very nice combo pair to start off this class. The cow that we round the class off with, I think she just kind of gets a little bit uh, coarser made when she's moved. She's not as free and easy moving as the, the cow that wins the class. She's a real wide base cow, real wide pin set, level top, nice cow to, to round the class off. And then her Calf at side is a is a compliment to her. She's doing a super good job on this this uh, heifer calf here. Um, 
but super nice set of pair set of cattle to to round this class off. First place, three-year-old cow-calf pair goes to Courtney Stelzer. Three and four-year-olds, I should say, goes to Courtney Stelzer. Second place, Diamond Creek Farm will select our grand champion cow-calf pair. The open show now. Tag Livestock back in with her two-year-old pair. Courtney Stelzer back in the ring with her four-year-old on deck waiting outside vying for reserve will be Diamond Creek Farms with her second place in the three and four-year-old pair class. As we come out here for our champion uh, cow calf pair for the purebred division, I think we got two excellent pairs here. I think uh, they offer a lot of differences, but uh, a lot of good uh, calves in here. Stout made, cool looking, my kind of cattle. Uh, I think they they uh, compare well to each other. I think the difference here there gets to be one cow that would be kind of personal preference over the other one that's pretty easy to look at not taking anything away from the other one but the white cow skin cow calves going to be your champion that's going to be your reserve congratulations to Courtney Stelzer for exhibiting our grand champion cow calf pair congratulations to Tag Livestock for exhibiting the reserve champion cow calf pair We'll move into our heifer class. Heifer class is now on the purebred show. We'll have two March heifers coming into the ring, Abney family cattle with a March 24th heifer calf and Albrecht cattle with a heifer born March 15th. And this will be our early spring heifer calf division.
nice heifer to start this class off with. I think she kind of sorts herself off to the top fairly easy. Uh, one that I wish you could get a super good profile pick look at her. I think she can hold herself together. She's kind of getting lazy, not wanting to one, so you don't want to want to uh, you you don't get that elegant look, which I know this heifer does. I saw her strutting around a little bit. She held herself really quite together, but you just have to admire this heifer's rib shape. You have to admire this heifer's width in her pin set. You get that that uh, top line straightened out when she wants to stand correctly. She holds herself to together in a nice correct package. Uh, heifer that comes out second, I think she just gets a little plainer muscled. You look at through her through her top. Granted, now this heifer probably holds herself together a bit. She's a little calmer, so you can see that quite well with that, but just kind of a plainer made heifer, a plainer sided heifer. You got to admire the rib shape on that heifer that wins the class. First place and early spring heifer calf champion shown by Abney Family Cattle. Observe spring heifer calf champion. Second place in that class shown by Albrecht Cattle. Congratulations. Single entry coming into the ring now. This will be a junior heifer. She was born January 1st of 2020, shown by Berg Shorthorns. And this heifer makes up the division, so this will be your automatic junior heifer calf champion as well. Nice single entry here with this red, solid red heifer. Young lady looks like she's doing a good job, working hard, getting the feet set pretty good. I asked her if she could lift that head up a little bit, and she did it right away. I don't know if uh, she's tall enough to do that, but asked her if she's having a good time, and she said she was. That's fantastic. Uh, heifer, really nice heifer. Kind of a uh, really good long fronted, really good topped. Kind of elegant in her makeup. I love that shoulder that transitions into her. Get her on the move. She might want to get a little choppy on them rear too, but uh, nice heifer, nice single entry. So winning that class and our junior heifer calf champion going to Berg Shorthorns. Now we'll have our senior heifer calf class, also a division Senior heifer calves, three in the ring, KSS Keystone Shorthorns with a, an October 13th heifer, Olson Family Shorthorns with a heifer born September 12th, and Berg Shorthorns with a heifer born September 1st.
really a high quality individual to lead this class off with. I think if you look at these, this group of cattle in the ring there, this heifer that I'm leading off the class with kind of separates herself pretty handily. Uh, one that's super, super good, profiled, super pretty to look at. She gets out, she moves. She might want to track a little wider in the back, but um, super elegant heifer and tons of body, tons of top, tons of uh, rib shape in that heifer, and she transitioned that shoulder up into her neck really elegantly. Heifer coming out, I think, uh, if you analyze this, she's probably the most level top, uh, freest moving heifer in this class. She just kind of gets a little out horse on the muscle. You get behind her compared to the heifer that wins the class, and you, uh, she's a little narrower base, a little narrow pin set, but an awfully elegant, free moving kind of heifer. The heifer that rounds out the class, I think she's just, she's a super, super nice heifer, a, a nice uh, female that'll make a super good cow. She's very good in her feet structure, just got the muscling as the top two in this class. First place in that class and senior heifer calf champion shown by Berg Shorthorns. Second place and reserve senior heifer calf champion Olson Family Shorthorns. And third place in that class, to KSS Keystone Shorthorns. Congratulations to those exhibitors. Single entry in our summer yearling class, Sandview Farm coming in with them August 13th, 2019 heifer. Really nice single entry here for a uh, summer calf. Uh, one that you just really have to admire her length of body. You admire her depth of rib. You gotta love how flat laid she is in that flank. You gotta love how flat laid she is on that top line. She really uh, holds her front together quite well and an elegant, nice, easy, free moving package. Nice heifer. First place summer yearling goes to Sandview Farm. We'll move into a late spring yearling female class now. Four entries in this class. Cozier Farm with a June 27th heifer calf Hebe show cattle. June 16th, Berg short horns heifer born June 12th and Badwater cattle with a heifer born June 9th. We'll have one more class in this division and then pick an intermediate champion.
nice heifer to start this class off with. I think she's the, the power, power heifer out of this group, and I like power heifers. I like them stout made, big top, elegant in their movement. I think this heifer's carrying a little bit of condition, but she really keeps it well. When you watch her walk, she's really got good flex on them rear pasturings and an excellent hock set to her. Uh, really level top, good fronted, nice female to start the class with. I think the heifers behind this heifer I, uh, just kind of get a, a little out horse on their muscle pattern. This heifer brings an awful lot of good. She's uh, maybe a little narrower rib shape. You got to admire the prettiness, the clean, clean cleanliness of the neck. Uh, she sets that into a good tail head, uh, just kind of not, not the depth as our heifer that we lead the class off with. Heifer that comes out uh, third, really an attractive heifer. Uh, I'd like to get a, get a better look at this heifer. She's not wanting to have, a, have anything to do with it today, but one that's really kind of green compared to the, the heifers that are ahead of her, one that you'd like to sit that tail head back down a little bit. And then uh, the heifer that rounds out the class kind of kind of gets out horse frame-wise and muscle-wise when you get in here, but you have to admire the, the uh, length of body and the smooth shoulder of that heifer that comes out. We had a heifer exit the ring quickly, so we wanted to make sure that she wasn't coming back in the ring. If she came back in the ring, we'd catch her here. But uh, first place in that class, this was our late spring heifer, or late spring yearling class. First place to Berg Shorthorn, second place uh, Hebe Showstock, third to Badwater Cattle Company, fourth place to Cozy A Farm. So now we'll move right into our early spring yearling females. Coming into the ring, We'll have uh, Siegler Family Farm with a May 2nd heifer, Cattail Ridge Farms, heifer born May 4th, Madeline Berg with a May 14th born heifer calf, and Tag Livestock with a heifer born on May 14th. This will be the second class in this division, so we'll pick a intermediate champion between this class and the class that just exited.
Well, I think you got uh, quite the differences in the top pair in this this uh, class, uh, frame-wise, construction-wise, that kind of stuff. Uh, I think I'm going to start with this heifer. That she's probably the most moderate framed out of there. She offers an awful lot of good when you get behind her, get on that top. She moves around the ring quite freely, carrying that much muscle. You got to really appreciate the bone substance of this heifer. You got to appreciate the the uh, flex in her hock. Uh, maybe one like kind of she's put together like that heifer that was reserved short horn plus maybe a little chubby fronted but she offers an awful lot of good there. Uh, heifer that comes out next really super I don't know if you'd call her big frame compared to uh, but definitely the biggest frame in here. Where she gets out horsed is she gets a little coarser when you look at her from the from the rear, she kind of rolls in her hook from her hooks to her pins. Really nice, elegant fronted, deep bodied heifer. A heifer that comes out in third, uh, just uh, with her muscle dimension, she's kind of put together like that first place heifer. I think she just gets a little roachy when she come off of uh, her loin, uh, wants to kind of get a choppy, little choppy on her rear too. Uh, nice heifer. Heifer that rounds out the class, I think as far as substance, she just gets a horse. You get behind her, she's a little flatter muscled compared to the heifers in front of her. Really holds herself together well. Nice, elegant package. Would be a super, super good cow for anybody. Okay, our early, early spring heifer calf class, first place to Siegler Family Farm, second place to Madeline Berg, third place Tag Livestock, and fourth to Cattail Ridge. So now we'll bring back our class winners from those two classes. So we would have, this will be for intermediate champion. So I stand corrected, there's three classes in this division. So Sandview Farm will be back with their se uh, summer yearling class winner, our first place in our late spring yearling heifer, shown by Berg Shorthorns back in the class, early spring yearling female, Siegler Family Farm, that was the class that just left the ring, back in the ring for champion. Just from uh, uh, keeping the amount of people in the, the barn under control a little bit, we have our second place winners on deck outside the barn. Our late spring yearling second place winner, Hebe Livestock, and second place from the early spring class that just left the ring, shown by Madeline Berg.
when we come out here for intermediate champion, I think it's, it gets a little tougher. I think we got three heifers out here and that are offer a lot of good. Uh, they complement each other really well. I think they're very elegant in their appearance. They hold themselves together very correctly. Um, there's a little differences in probably frame in this one, but that's not too big of a factor for myself. Uh, heifers that come out and get moving uh, and offer a lot of, a lot of good structured. So this, this, this one's tough. You can go either way, whichever way you want to do it. Uh, I think three high quality individuals in this, this division here. So give them a good round of applause. So congratulations, our intermediate champion heifer shown by Bird Shorthorns and reserve intermediate heifer shown by Siegler Family Farm. We will move on to our early spring yearling heifers. These are all born in April. KSS, Keystone Shorthorns, C4 Show Cattle and Olson Family Farms all have April born heifers in this class. This will be the first of three classes in the junior division.
challenging class coming in here, but I'm going to start off with, I think, the, uh, the, the easiest looking at, to look at, uh, highly presented heifer to start off with class. I think she offers uh, the most overall good. You got to really appreciate this heifer when you look at her out of side profile. She gets parked. She's got a great look to her. Uh, one that maybe you want to want to uh, straighten up. She kind of pinches in her top when she walks, it gets moving, but and it likes to set them hocks down. But a nice, nice heifer to start the class with. The heifer that we have in second, she's probably the the straightest lines, top through bottom, uh, squarest package, freest moving heifer in here. Uh, one that just kind of gets a little out horsed on as far as style. Uh, as far as muscle shape, uh, but a nice heifer. A uh, heifer that comes in third offers a lot of good. Really a broody, I, really a broody type female. Gets out and moves really well. Uh, likes how she holds herself together when she moves. Kind of gets a little coarse shouldered, a little chubby fronted, but a uh, nice heifer. Placings in that class, first place to Olson Family Shorthorns, second C4 Show Cattle, third place KSS Keystone Shorthorns. Now we're moving into our early spring yearling females. These are born in March of 2019, Cattail Ridge Farms, with a heifer born March 20th, 2019, Cozy A Farm, heifer born March 19th, White Oak Farm with a heifer born March 17th, and Keystone Shorthorns with a heifer born March 15th. So just five days separate these four heifers. Nice heifer to start the class with. This solid white heifer kind of offers a complete package of good. There's a lot of different differences in this class, and I think they offer up a lot of good in their own. But I'm going to start with this white heifer. I think she's the most powerful, massive. You get in front of her. Her chest is heavy and, and uh, wide. She, you get behind her. She's got uh, excellent muscling on her top line. 
one that you look at at the side profile and she just sets herself apart from all the other ones here she gives you that good look to her and she gets out and tracks kind of free and easing one thing if you were to change on this heifer maybe you'd add a little uh, muscle width to lower quarter but that's getting picky on that heifer heifer that comes in second muscular heifer nice heifer that comes out in a free and easy moving package maybe she wants to round off a little bit in her rump uh, one that just kind of doesn't have the style and presence as the heifer in front of her the heifer that comes in third uh, she's uh, one that's kind of if you were to look at this one on a park standstill she's probably the most correct in her in her lines uh, where she gets a little outmassed as you get behind her she's a little flat muscled she's she doesn't have as much dimension and as a rear quarter as the heifers in front of her and then rounding out the class uh, a bigger frame type of heifer, one that offers a lot of good, super good neck extension. She gets out and moves pretty free and easy. Uh, you maybe want to tuck that tail head down a little bit and, and uh, add a, a bit more depth of body to that heifer. First place in our early spring yearling heifer class was to White Oak Farm. Second place, KSS Keystone Shorthorns third place Cozy A Farm, and fourth place to Cat, Cattail Ridge Farms. We'll have our junior yearling uh, February calf class coming in. We'll have three entries, Cheerful Acres, Badwater Cattle Company, and Steltzer Show Cattle. We'll have uh, a heifer in this ring, and Olson Family Shorthorns will have a January heifer. So heifers range from January 13th to February 24th. Nice class of heifers coming out here. I think the heifer that leads off the class does so handily. She uh, sets herself apart from the rest of the class pretty easily. In my opinion, she's one that's really elegant through her front, 
really likes to get out. I, you could cruise her a little faster, and I think she'd track as well as she does when she looks like she's a little bit lazy, but holds herself together really nice. Get behind that heifer. Her pin set is fantastic. Good joint structure. You love that transition into the neck. Um, nice heifer to start the class off with. Two, di two different kinds of heifers that, that follow her. Uh, the heifer I'm going to use for second just kind of does so in a straighter, cleaner package. She likes to hold it. She'll hold her top together a little bit better than the, the one and third. Uh, she gets out and moves. She maybe wants a short track a little bit, uh, but one that offers a lot of good. The heifer that comes in third, uh, when she sits there and gets in park, she may be a little higher in that tail than I'd like to see, uh, but an awful, awful nice heifer to round the class off. And our February born heifers, Olson family shorthorns, first place, second place to Badwater Cattle Company and Stelzer Show Cattle, and third place to Cheerful Acres. We will now select our junior champion female. So Olson family shorthorns will come in with their April class winner. Our March class winner was exhibited by White Oak Beef and our January, February class winner was exhibited by Olson Family Cattle. Outside, uh, vying for reserve if we need to pull them in, uh, C4 Show Cattle was the winner of the April class. The March class winner was shown by Keystone Shorthorns and our second place winner in the junior yearling class was shown by Badwater Cattle Company and Stelzer Show Cattle. Again, this is selection for your junior champion female. come out here for junior champion there's three nice heifers out here I think they complement each other quite well uh, there's quite differences frame scores that kind of stuff uh, there's a heifer out here that I really like a lot uh, she kind of sorts herself to the top pretty easy that's a roan heifer there the white heifer is going to be reserved Champion female was exhibited by Olson Family Shorthorns. Congratulations and congratulations to our reserve champion junior female shown by White Oak Beef. Now we'll have a single entry in our senior division shown by Fearing Cattle Company. This is a December 15th, 2018 born female.
Really nice heifer for a single entry in our senior division here. Uh, one that just offers so much good, so much cow power, so explosive in her rib shape, really offers a lot of muscle. Uh, this one's going to make a fantastic cow. I'd be happy to have that one in my herd. Our champion senior female, shown by Fearing Cattle Company. Congratulations. We'll work to put together our grand champion purebred shorthorn lineup of the open show today. First place in our early spring heifer calf champion, or our early spring heifer calf champion, I should say, was shown by Abney Family Cattle. Bailey's making her way in the ring right now. Our first place, or junior heifer calf champion, I should say, exhibited by Berg Shorthorn. Our senior heifer calf champion, also shown by Berg Shorthorns today. Our intermediate champion, shown by Berg Shorthorns. Our junior champion female shown by Olson Family Shorthorns and our senior champion shown by Fearing Cattle Company. I want to give recognition to our, diver our reserve division champions, so, uh, reserve early spring heifer calf shown by Albrecht Cattle. Our reserve senior heifer calf champion was exhibited by Olson Family Shorthorns. Our intermediate reserve champion shown by uh, the Siegler Family Farm. Reserve junior champion shown by White Oak Beef. And uh, again, our senior champion, just a single entry in that division.
When we get here for a grand champion female, uh, again, I want to thank the Wisconsin Shorthorn Association for having me. It's been fun evaluating these cattle. It's been a heck of a set. There's been a lot of good cattle run through this barn today. I have to commend all of you guys. I know with all the stuff that's going on these days, there's few and far between uh, chances to get out and show your cattle, and, uh, and uh, it's kind of a little discouraging or gets people discouraged. Uh, but all of you guys, it appears you work really super hard getting your cattle ready. They all look good. All the cattle are in fantastic shape uh, for this time of summer and exceptional lineup we have here all the way from the calf up to the, to the senior. Uh, man, that calf, she, uh, I didn't get a good look at her too much in the class. Uh, she excelled in that class, but boy, you put that heifer in motion. Holy smokes. She is killer. Uh, that heifer really pulls herself together, her muscle shape, top line, all that. Just cool, cool package. You got to like everything about that heifer. The solid red heifer coming in, young lady's doing a fantastic job sticking her. She's got her all set up right now. Heifer looks like she's getting a little tired on her, but she's doing a super good job. Red heifer there, you got to admire the length of, length of extension through her neck. You got to admire her her width when you get behind her good feet and legs when she gets out moving uh, awfully nice heifer there heifer that comes out of our senior class real growthy heifer I mean super super well made you love the depth you love the rib shape about her you love that heart transition you love that neck about her she kind of wants a little bit rosy when you come up on her, on her hook pin but that's being awfully critical on that heifer that's a nice heifer heifer that comes out of our immediate Intermediate. This heifer caught my eye right away. Uh, she was really super elegant. Maybe a caring condition, but that doesn't really bother me today. Uh, I think she holds it together in a fresh, elegant package. Gets around, moves really well. She's really long, extended through her top. Love that about her. Love that hip about her. And then you get behind her, and she doesn't disappoint you. Heifer out of our junior class. Really stylish heifer. Really well made. Really level top. You've got to appreciate the depth of rib on that one. You, she gets out and moves. Not the biggest frame heifer, but that doesn't concern me a whole lot. Love that neck extension. Just a nice solid heifer. And the heifer that rounds out the senior class, man, that's going to be a nice cow. She's got that broody cow uh, look to her. A uh, little rugged in her makeup. You know, not as not as flashy as some of the other ones in this group, but. Uh, <clears throat> Really a nice effort to round out the class. Give them a round of applause. I'll go pick out your, your grand champion heifer. In our open show today, our grand champion purebred heifer was exhibited by Berg Shorthorns. Congratulations to them. That heifer was first our intermediate champion. Our reserve grand champion purebred heifer was exhibited by Abney Family Cattle, and that was uh, out of our junior calf class. That'll conclude our shows today. Uh, just a reminder, if you're within earshot, we do need you to take everything that you brought home with you, cattle, kids, and uh, garbage. So 
we do need to have everybody take clean up after themselves that would be greatly appreciated our backdrop photographer is available to take pictures if anybody is still interested in doing that but congratulations on a good show everyone thank you for being here